This will sound very strange, but Fabio's ride on the roller coaster named Apollo's Chariot, in which he broke his nose and his face was bloodied due to a bird strike, is a prophecy that is predicting that Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash that will be caused due to a bird strike in St. Louis on precisely November 26th, 2022. The date that this video is posted proves that this prediction was made ahead of time, as does this timestamped email and forensic notes PDF. If you are skeptical, please email me and I will forward these to you. After Harris's death, she will be replaced by Michelle Obama, and soon after, Barack Obama will replace Michelle. This is the reason why Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash. This video is also predicting that Michelle Obama will become the 47th president on December 13th, 2022. She will become the Queen of America 96 days after the Queen of England died at the age of 96. She will return to the White House as the president 97 days after she returned to the White House for the unveiling of her portrait on the date September 7th, which is 9-7 and hints at 97. She will replace the 49th U.S. Vice President and then become the president exactly 49 months after her book Becoming was released. She will become the first female president and the 47th president exactly 47 weeks after the death of Lucia Harris, the queen of basketball, who was the first and only woman to be drafted by the NBA, and she will replace Kamala Harris, and her husband is the basketball president, who will replace Michelle Obama a few days later as the president on December 18th. Here is the email and forensic notes PDF that document this prediction. This video is also predicting that famous actor James Earl Jones, the voice of the Lion King and the voice of Darth Vader, will die on December 30th, 2022. This video is also predicting that there will be a catastrophic asteroid hit on Earth on September 2nd, 2023. This will be a fulfillment of what is described in the book of Revelation in the Bible in chapter 8. Currently at this time, there is no way of knowing where Kamala Harris plans to be on November 26th. But if her plane crash occurs in St. Louis, then another video on this channel that is titled Prediction Harris's Plane Will Crash in St. Louis on November 26th will become one of the most important videos on this channel. In the description box below, I will leave a link to this absolute must-watch video. It has been known since the autumn of 2020 that she will die in a plane crash. But as can be seen here in this email, it was known since August of 2021 that God was pointing to the date January 14th, 2022 in regards to Harris's death in a plane crash. The majority of this video was produced before January 14th, 2022. Prior to January 14th, 2022, the Lord was pointing to this date with an overwhelming amount of evidence through connections to other signs that involved symbolism for the death of Kamala Harris in a plane crash, which is why prior to January 14th, 2022, it was assumed that this would be the day that Kamala Harris would die in a plane crash due to a bird strike. However, instead, it turned out that January 14th, 2022 was a day of prophetic signs that confirmed all of the analysis of the signs and connections that were pointing to January 14th in regards to the death of Kamala Harris in a plane crash. It turned out that January 14th was another important step in the trail of signs that is ultimately leading to the day that Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash. Prior to January 14th, 2022, I had learned that God was also pointing to June 7th. One reason being is that it is 144 days after January 14th. I knew that if January 14th were not to be the day that Harris would die in a plane crash, 
then it would be expected that there would be a prophetic sign involving the number 144 on January 14th. Sure enough, we received an amazing prophetic sign involving the number 144 on January 14th, as was expected in advance. This prophetic sign involved 144 horses. The explanation of this prophetic sign, other signs that occurred on January 14th, and many, many other extremely profound things are explained in the must-watch American Pharaoh Prophecy video. The American Pharaoh Prophecy video is essential information, especially regarding the prediction for Kamala Harris's death in a plane crash. In the description box below this video, I will leave a link to the American Pharaoh Prophecy video. The number 144 is prophetic because of the prophetic number 144,000 in the book of Revelation in the Bible. The prophetic sign on January 14th involving 144 horses confirmed adding 144 days to reach June 7th, and the relevant prophetic signs that occurred on that day, including an announcement from Kamala Harris, the 49th Vice President, regarding America's border wall of security. In the book of Joshua, in the Bible, the Hebrews marched around the walls of security of the ancient city of Jericho for seven days before they collapsed in God's judgment. On the seventh day, right before the walls collapsed, seven Hebrew priests blew seven trumpets that were made from horns of bighorn sheep. This is symbolism for seven times seven equals 49. June 7th was the seventh day after park rangers at Joshua Tree National Park closed its 49 Palms hiking trail in order to provide bighorn sheep access to water. The hiking trail is symbolism for the Hebrews' march around Jericho, and June 7th was the seventh day of its closure, which symbolized the seven days that the Hebrews marched around Jericho in the book of Joshua, and then on the seventh day blew trumpets, which were made out of bighorn sheep horns. This trail named 49 Palms is near Los Angeles, the hometown of Kamala Harris, the 49th vice president. The January 6 public hearings prophecy video will explain the most profound story that God is telling through the prophetic signs that occurred on June 7th, and also through the extremely important January 6 committee hearings, seven times seven days, which is 49 days after June 7th, was the day of the closure of the I-70 highway and 70 rescues by firefighters in the extremely prophetic, historic, and destructive flooding in St. Louis, that pointed to the 70-mile-wide path of totality of the Great American Eclipse that passed over St. Louis and peaked right near St. Louis and ran parallel with the I-70 highway. This flooding in St. Louis on July 26th is in turn 100 days, which is the equivalent of 144,000 minutes before the prophetic signs that occurred on November 3rd that revealed that Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash in St. Louis on November 26th. The reason the number 144,000 is prophetic is because of the description in the book of Revelation involving 12 times 12,000. On the same day as the prophetic flooding in St. Louis, a sudden wind storm caused Class A damage meaning 2.5 million or more in damages, to several Navy helicopters at a base in Virginia. The prophetic significance of these helicopters is explained in the must-watch NASA Mars helicopter videos on this channel. A main aspect of the news story on this incident states that the National Weather Service issued a severe thunderstorm alert at 3.30 p.m., with a warning of winds of more than 60 miles per hour. 
According to the damage assessment, the high winds hit the Navy base at 3.42 p.m., 12 minutes after the initial warning. When given enough time, aircraft in the path of bad weather are taken into their hangars or tied down. However, the storm came at a time when aviation maintainers are usually in the midst of a shift change. Most of the personnel were indoors and had limited time to bring the aircraft in the hangars. In other words, the timing of the storm couldn't have been worse, and this 12 minutes warning was key. This prophetic 12 minutes warning is why this incident is a warning from God that 12 times 12,000 minutes after this 12 minutes warning was the day of the amazing and profound and extremely important prophetic signs that occurred on the penultimate date in the Trail of Signs on November 3rd that revealed that Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash in St. Louis on November 26th. I am not going to begin to explain the signs that occurred on November 3rd because it would take too much time and abbreviating it doesn't do it justice and gives the impression that not much happened. I have made a full video explaining the prophetic signs that occurred on November 3rd and so much more. The video is so amazing. I titled the video 1989 World Series Earthquake Reveals Harris's Plane Will Crash on November 26th. I posted it twice and also titled it Philadelphia Church Signs Reveal Harris's Plane Will Crash on November 26th. The 1989 World Series Earthquake video is for sure the most important Kamala Harris plane crash prediction video. Once this prediction comes to pass, you should know that you need to watch every minute of every video on this channel. However, not all videos are equally important. There are many videos that are extremely important, but my very strong recommendation to you is that you pause this video you are currently watching and watch the 1989 World Series Earthquake video first, and then come back and watch the video you are currently watching. I will leave a link in the description box below this video to the 1989 World Series Earthquake prophecy video. However, for the sake of continuity in this video, I will say that on November 3rd, NASA began rolling out its Artemis 1 space launch system and posted a tweet that made a reference to pop singer Billy Joel. Billy Joel was nominated for 23 Grammy Awards, and 23 days after this tweet will be the day it is predicted that Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash on November 26th. Likewise, on November 3rd, the MVP in the 2022 World Series hit an extremely prophetic and profound home run that pointed to his days playing for the University of Maine, and Maine was the 23rd state to join the Union. And it is predicted that Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash 23 days after this prophetic World Series home run. But like I say, pause this video and watch the 1989 World Series earthquake video first, and then come back to watch this video. Once this prediction for Kamala Harris's death in a plane crash due to a bird strike in St. Louis on November 26th comes to pass, you should know that you should watch every minute of every video on this channel. However, time is short, and so I will leave a list on my website of the most important videos. The rest of this video will be an explanation for the trail of signs in God's true big picture of signs, patterns, and connections that were leading and pointing to January 14th, 2022. I will not edit the rest of this video that was produced before January 14th. Instead, I will leave this video the way it is. Again, the very important explanation for how the prophetic signs on January 14th pointed to June 7th, which is part of the trail of signs that is leading to the predicted date that Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash on November 26th, is explained in the must-watch American Pharaoh Prophecy video. 
The rest of this video will explain the amazing and very important information regarding God's big picture of signs that were pointing to January 14th. God is telling many different, very important stories through his big picture of signs, which is why all of the videos on this channel should be watched. I need to make one last important announcement before we begin the subject of this video. What proves that the Bible is the inspired word of God is Bible prophecy. The reason why one third of the Bible is prophecy is for the purpose of God proving that the Bible is inspired from God. Jesus claimed to be the Messiah that Bible prophecy speaks of. Jesus was the first to deliver the gospel of salvation to the world. To those that doubted him, he told them that if they didn't believe what he told them, then they should believe the signs and miracles that he did. After Jesus, the apostles continued the mission of spreading the good news of salvation through Jesus Christ. Until the books of the New Testament were completed, God confirmed for people that the words that the apostles were speaking were true through the signs and miracles that accompanied them. What confirms that what is being explained on this video channel is God's true big picture of signs, patterns, and connections, and what proves the things I am saying in these videos are true are the predictions. If you don't believe me, then believe the predictions. This is the purpose of the prediction or predictions being made in this video. That said, in order to understand why God has given me a voice through these predictions, it is absolutely critical that you watch all of the videos, every minute of every video. And most of the most important videos are likely not on the social media platform that you are currently using. It is critical that you learn the information God wants you to learn, which is the reason why God has provided these predictions. People have their worldviews, and so people will tell themselves in their own mind how and why I was able to know these predictions in advance. However, I assure you that your assumptions are not correct. I have spent the last five years working from morning until night learning about God's true big picture of signs, patterns, and connections. I assure you that I know better than you the reasons for how and why God has given me a voice through these predictions. In the description box below this video, I will leave a link to a video titled God's Purpose for These Predictions. It would be an enormous shame for you to learn about these predictions, but not know the reasons for how and why God has given these predictions. In other words, unless you watch this video, God's purpose for these predictions, you will have missed the point of this video and the point of this video channel. Make sure you watch the video, God's purpose for these predictions, either before or after watching this video. I will be slightly more blunt. It would be very foolish to not learn the reason for how and, more importantly, why God has given me a voice through these predictions. In other words, don't be the foolish person that will choose to skip the video titled God's Purpose for These Predictions. Choosing to skip watching this video because you think you know better and more than me and you think you already know how and why I was able to make these predictions would be very foolish. In 1999, the model and spokesman Fabio was asked by Bush Gardens in Virginia to be the spokesman and host for the inaugural ride of their new roller coaster named Apollo's Chariot. Apollo is the name of one of the Greek gods and this would be why they asked Fabio to promote this new roller coaster. Fabio is famous for his looks, 
which is why it is beyond ironic that Fabio, who is famous for his face and his looks, got his face bloodied on his ride on this roller coaster, which was the first ride open to the public ever for this roller coaster. It was the inaugural ride of the roller coaster. And Fabio, in the initial descent of the ride, was hit in the face by a goose, which ended up breaking his nose and bloodying his face. You know, oh no, I want to thank everybody for coming. I'm here today um, just to say, you know, it's like it was a miracle, but uh, it wasn't a freak accident and it's going to happen again. And, you know, I cannot live with my conscience knowing that the ride is still running. And maybe, you know, a person or even a child can be killed. Many years later, this incident is still a part of pop culture. At the time, this incident and Fabio was an ongoing joke in the pop culture, and late-night talk shows had a lot of fun making fun of Fabio. Part of this mocking of Fabio was that after the injury, he was saying publicly to the press that he thought the ride should be shut down, and this accident was going to happen again, and that next time it could kill someone and as he said, including a baby. People ridiculed this, and it turned out that it was a freak accident. No person has ever been hit on this roller coaster since then by a bird, which actually adds to the irony and coincidence of this prophetic sign that in the initial descent of the first ever ride of this roller coaster, the person famous for his looks got smacked in the face and got bloodied by a bird. And although it was the first initial descent ever for this ride, no one has ever had an accident like this since then. As I will explain, this is a major prophetic sign in God's big picture of signs, patterns, and connections. The symbolism in this Apollo chariot roller coaster ride is a god descending from heaven to earth. In the Gospel of Luke, Jesus said he saw Satan falling like lightning from heaven. There is a famous president whose name in Hebrew means lightning from heaven. The 1,300th word in the Hebrew Old Testament in Strong's Concordance, H1300, is the word Barak, and it means lightning. The 1,117th word in the Hebrew Old Testament in Strong's Concordance, H1117 is the word Bama, which is the word for high place, referring to the high places on mountaintops that the Gentiles and sometimes the Jews would use for their idolatrous worship to false gods. In the book of Isaiah, this word Bama is used when it describes how Lucifer fell from the heights, which is a metaphor for heaven. In the Gospel of Luke, Jesus said he saw Satan falling like lightning from heaven. There is a famous ex-president whose name in Hebrew means lightning from heaven. Barak, lightning, O, from, in Aramaic, the language Jesus would have spoken, Bama, heaven. Barak, O, Bama, lightning from heaven. Either Jesus didn't know what he was saying when he said this, or that he knew that there would be a famous president named Barack Obama and he said this anyway, even though he knew it would confuse us, or he said this to identify the Antichrist. Fabio getting hit in the face by this bird on the initial descent of this Apollo's chariot, Greek god symbolism, is symbolizing Satan falling like lightning from heaven. And that is why, from the day that Fabio was hit by this bird, as he was falling in this Apollo's chariot, it is exactly 1,117 weeks to August 25th, 2020, and the release date of the Kamala Harris picture book titled Rooted in Justice. This was a prophetic sign because 
In other signs in God's big picture of signs, patterns, and connections, God has used Obama's books as prophetic signs, including his Dreams from My Father, in which he has a prophetic dream that identifies him as the Antichrist, the amazing details of which are explained in the must-watch video number 9 and 10 on this channel, and his recent The Promised Land, which just happened to have been released on the date 1117, which hints at H1117, the word for Obama. And this was 84 days after the release date of Harris's book, and 84 hints at 84, August 4th, the date that Barack Obama was born. The date 84, August 4th, is the 216th day in the calendar year, and 216 is 6 times 6 times 6, which in Bible prophecy, 666 is associated with the Antichrist. This isn't the only instance of God using 84 days in his big picture of signs, patterns, and connections. As, for example, the SpaceX Dragon crew broke the record for most number of days in space at 84 days, on the same day as the GOAT Super Bowl. GOAT is Antichrist symbolism, and Tom Brady is the GOAT of uh, football, the greatest of all time. And this Super Bowl win was his seventh Super Bowl win out of ten appearances, which hinted at the Day of Atonement, which is the tenth day of the seventh month, and in ancient Israel, the ancient Jews would conduct a ritual sacrifice involving a goat on the Day of Atonement on the Temple Mount. And in Bible prophecy, the goat Antichrist will be vanquished from the Temple Mount on the Day of Atonement in 2024, the 10th day of the seventh month. This Super Bowl was also billed as the goat versus baby goat Super Bowl because of the quarterback that Tom Brady was playing. It was a play on that. Some project him to be a future Hall of Famer as well. So goat versus baby goat Super Bowl was one of the billings of this Super Bowl. Tom Brady won the Super Bowl playing for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Tampa. It was the first Super Bowl ever in which one of the teams in the Super Bowl was playing in their home stadium. Tampa symbolizes lightning. I used to live on the west coast of Florida, and there is a reason why the hockey team for Tampa Bay is named Lightning. The area receives a lot of massive thunder and lightning storms. This Dragon crew for SpaceX ended up splashing down on May 2nd, the first nighttime splashdown since Apollo 8. And this date, May 2nd, was exactly 1,260 days before the Day of Atonement in 2024, which will be Judgment Day, the Day of the Lord, the return of Lord Jesus Christ when he will vanquish the Antichrist from the Temple Mount. This splashdown on this day proved this because in Revelation chapter 12, at the beginning of the final 1,260 days, it is said that the Archangel Michael threw the dragon down from heaven to earth. SpaceX's dragon crew in their dragon capsule descended from the second heaven, outer space, and splashed down on Earth exactly 1,260 days before the Day of the Lord. This May 2nd date was known with 100% certainty to be the beginning of this 1,260 days since the autumn of 2017. And so this sign was expected, and it is a confirmation in a mountain of confirmations as high as Mount Everest that we are now inside the last 1,260 days. Anyway, the point for saying all of that is, of course, because of the lightning symbolism and the descent of the dragon from the second heaven to earth, Tampa Bay lightning symbolism and all of that, in order to give you a second and third witness that confirms this, the relevance, the prophetic relevance of this 84 days. And that's how God's true big picture of signs, patterns, and connections works. It works on the principle of second and third and multiple witnesses confirming matters, which makes it true and not a product of one's imagination, and what makes it true and different and unique than other things. As the Bible says, second and third witnesses are required to confirm a matter. This 84 days, which symbolizes Barack Obama, the Antichrist, connects to this extremely prophetic date of the release of his book, which hints at H1117, which is the word Bama in Hebrew, part of the lightning from heaven equation. 
And so this 84 days connection is a second witness to this connection, which connects to Harris's book. And Barack Obama will become the Antichrist after he replaces Kamala Harris, after she will fall from the sky in her plane crash, which will symbolize Satan falling like lightning from heaven. And so as we can see here, this isn't arbitrary. This isn't just simply an arbitrary connection to something. This is confirmed with Obama's book, Harris's book connection to uh, the Fabio uh, Apollo chariot bird face strike, which also symbolizes lightning from heaven, connects with a number of weeks that symbolizes lightning he from heaven, which then connects with 84 days, which is part of the, the dragon crew and the goat Super Bowl, which is lightning from heaven symbolism, to the date that the book was released, Obama's big promised land book, which also symbolizes lightning from heaven, 1117, the date. This isn't the only Harris sign that mirrors Obama. After Kamala Harris dies in a plane crash, Barack Obama will be appointed vice president using the 25th Amendment. And this is why from the date of Harris's picture book, it is 97 days to November 30th in 2020. The number 97 is the 25th prime number. On November 30th, the prophetic sign we received was the news story regarding the interview of the actress Glenn Close who played the vice president in the movie Air Force One. This sign involving Air Force One is a confirmation sign that Kamala Harris will die in a crash in her Air Force Two plane. But the Air Force One sign news story was the interview with Glenn Close, who played the vice president in this movie. And she said in the interview that the directors had asked her to cry in the movie and she refused to do so. She said she didn't want to portray a crying and weak female vice president. These news stories that covered this admission from Glenn Close in this interview mentioned Kamala Harris because she was in the running to be the female vice president. God has used this movie Air Force One and Harrison Ford and Trump connected to this in other signs, in God's big picture of signs, patterns, and connections. Harrison Ford hints at Kamala Harris, and Harrison Ford's name are the names of two presidents, one of which it was Gerald Ford, who was the only president to never have been elected to the vice president or president's office. Instead, he was appointed through the 25th Amendment. This is how Barack Obama will become the 47th president on May 1st, 2021, on the day of a catastrophic solar storm, after he has been appointed vice president through the 25th Amendment. He will overcome the 22nd Amendment's restriction on being elected to the office of president more than twice through being appointed instead. Harrison Ford starred in this movie, Air Force One, and this Air Force One sign that occurred on November 30th, 2020, was 666 days, which is Antichrist symbolism. After February 3rd, 2019, the day of the extremely prophetic Super Bowl, which contained many signs that revealed the identity of the Antichrist, in which one of the big commercials was the Amazon commercial, which starred Harrison Ford as himself and was about a catastrophic power outage blackout, which was seen from space, which hinted at the origin of this upcoming blackout will be a solar storm from the sun, which will give rise to the Antichrist becoming the 47th president after he has been appointed vice president through the 25th amendment first. Also on this same day as this prophetic Super Bowl and this Harrison Ford commercial that was 666 days before this Air Force One sign, an airplane crashed into the residential neighborhood of Yorba Linda, California, where President Richard Nixon was from and where his presidential library is. And President Nixon is known for having used the 25th Amendment to appoint Gerald Ford. As a result of this plane crash, Kamala Harris, the senator from California, posted a tweet regarding her condolences and her concern over this plane crash. In her tweet, she posted this video of this plane crash. There's much more confirmation to this, but I need to make this a short video. All right, as you might have just noticed, this video that you are listening to is or has been a work in progress since the autumn of 2020. Since the time of this sign here on November 30th, 2020, you might have caught how I just said that Barack Obama would become president on May 1st, 2021. 
May 1st, 2021 was one of the biggest, most important dates in God's prophetic signs, but it is explained in other videos, many other videos. But regarding this connection here, this sign here, now it is today, October 15th, 2022. So there has been, the, the learning has been exponential. And so there's been a lot of learning since the original production of this video and learning of this particular sign. This was back in the day when it was first beginning to be learned that Kamala Harris would die in a plane crash back in the autumn of 2020. But what more than just what's described in this bottom line of this trail of signs right here is the fact that this date, November 30th, this prophetic sign that connected with the 666 days to the Harrison Ford uh, Kamala Harris prophetic sign, which is huge. Um, this day here is in turn 555 days to um, the 55th anniversary of the Temple Mount on June 7th. Okay, so again, this date, November 30th, connects with 666 days to the Super Bowl and that prophetic sign involving Harrison Ford. And then in turn, it's another 555 days to the 55th anniversary of the Temple Mount on June 7th. And that was one of the major reasons why God was pointing to that June 7th. And if you recall, at the beginning of this video, I mentioned and talked a little bit about June 7th. How, for example, it was in the Trail of Signs involving the Joshua Tree National Park and the closure of the 49 Palms Trail, etc. And so that's why that's astounding. And if you have watched the American Pharaoh Prophecy video, you will know why God uses a series of fives as in 555 days and 55 to reveal the identity of the Antichrist. And because the I-55 connects Chicago to Little Egypt. But if you have watched other videos on this channel, you will know even the more deeper significance, biblical significance as well, which is that God is pointing to Daniel uh, chapter 5, verse 5, which is the verse regarding the disembodied hand that writes the judgment warning on the wall. Hence why in English we have the, the writing is on the wall idiom. And it was for the king, uh, the king of Babylon, which was Antichrist symbolism. God has been using the number 117 in profound and prophetic ways in order to point to the 117th Congress, during which time the Antichrist will come to power. The 117th Congress began on January 3rd, 2021. A couple of brief examples of the use of 117 was the 117th Boston Marathon, which was the marathon of the Boston bombing, and the Great American Eclipse Judgment Warning Sign that had its prophetic center and peak over Cairo, Illinois at 1.17 p.m. 1.17 p.m. hints at 117, and Cairo, Illinois, God is using, and it's explained in other videos, including the must-watch Super Bowl video part 26, and also the must-watch The Lion King Prophecy video. This is why it is 117 days after this Air Force One sign. As was just mentioned, the number 117 is associated with Nashville because the Great American Eclipse Judgment warning sign peaked at 1.17 p.m., which hints at the number 117, and it peaked over the center of the country, over Nashville, and the only U.S. city to be wholly within the path of the path of totality of the Great American Eclipse was Nashville. And so this is one reason why God uses the city of Nashville in his signs. And so here we have a 117 days connection to this sign on Passover in Nashville, which is amazing and gives us a second witness. And this is how God's true big picture of signs, patterns, and connections works. And what makes it true is that it works on the principle of second and third and multiple witnesses confirming matters, which is what the Bible says is required. And so on this Passover in Nashville, Nashville experienced its second wettest p 
period of two-day period in history, and the rain coincided exactly with Passover. It began in the evening, and Passover began at sunset on the 27th and went into the 28th, and that's exactly when the rain came, and it killed four people, and this sign is explained more in the Lion King prophecy video, so I won't explain everything here. It was also pointing to the wettest two-day period in Nashville history in 2010, which was exactly 11 years before May 1st and May 2nd, 2021, and 11 symbolizes God's execution of judgment, and for the extreme profound significance of May 1st and May 2nd, you need to watch the Field of Dreams prophecy video or the Lion King prophecy video. Both are must-watch videos. May 2nd was exactly 1,260 days before the second coming of Lord Jesus Christ on the Day of Atonement in 2024, which was known uh, with certainty since 2017. This would be the beginning of the 1,260 days mentioned in Revelation chapter 12 when it speaks about the dragon being thrown from heaven to earth. And it just so happens that on May 2nd, we received the sign that confirmed that with the dragon capsule with its dragon crew, SpaceX, the splashdown coming down from the second heaven out outer space to earth which is in fact more Satan falling like lightning symbolism. And so it is appropriate to mention that in this particular video. But also this was the day of the Satan shoes sign when the controversy erupted in the mainstream media and in social media over the shoes that the famous rapper released, Satan shoes that contained a drop of real human blood. There were 666 pairs that sold and among other things make a reference to Luke 10:18 when Jesus said he saw Satan falling like lightning which is totally appropriate here because this is exactly what Kamala Harris's fall from the sky in a plane crash will symbolize and it will lead to the rise of the antichrist and so this is why these satan shoes occurred in this trail of signs that is pointing to like Jesus said, he saw Satan falling like lightning from heaven, which, as we've already shown, is why this diagram begins with the bird strike on Fabio in 1999. April 19th, sorry it's labeled wrong in the diagram there, to the day that Kamala Harris visited a location, a city named High Point in North Carolina, while, and visited an electric bus company. High Point, again, symbolizes the high places, which again is the word for Bama, the 1,117th word in Strong's Concordance, and is symbolism for Jesus saying he saw Satan falling like lightning from heaven, which again is what will be symbolized when Kamala Harris falls from the sky in her plane crash. And that's why she visited an electric bus company in High Point, electricity symbolizing lightning. Now, she was there to promote the $2.3 trillion infrastructure and job package. And this $2.3 trillion was a confirmation, a second witness to this 23 days connection between the day that Kamala Harris visited High Point and the day of the Nashville and Satan Shoes signs. Uh, the number 23 and this 2.3 trillion is hinting at the number 23 is a number God uses to identify the Antichrist, the basketball president who wore jersey number 23 when he played basketball in high school. And these Satan shoes are basketball shoes for that matter. So that's a third witness right there. God uses the number 23 to reveal the identity of the Antichrist the basketball president who wore jersey number 23 when he played basketball in high school. In the Old Testament in the Bible, it is described how two goats were used on the Day of Atonement in the ritual on the Temple Mount. In Bible prophecy, there are two antichrists, and in Bible prophecy, it is said that the antichrist will rule the Temple Mount during the end times period. And the Antichrist will be vanquished from the Temple Mount at the return of Lord Jesus Christ on the Day of Atonement in 2024. Goat is Antichrist symbolism. Goat stands for greatest of all time. And this is why the two goats of basketball wore jersey number 23, Michael Jordan and LeBron James. 
The GOAT of basketball, Michael Jordan, played for Chicago, and the GOAT Antichrist, the basketball president, is from Chicago. LeBron James is famous for being from Cleveland, and having played for Cleveland, and having won the NBA Finals championship for Cleveland, breaking the supposed Cleveland sports curse, which is Antichrist King symbolism, which is why LeBron James goes by the nickname King James. And this was used to point to the president Grover Cleveland, who was the only president to serve non-consecutive terms, skipping the 23rd presidency. Just like the Antichrist will serve non-consecutive terms, having skipped the 45th presidency. This is why Michael Jordan, in the exact middle of his career, after having won three NBA titles and before winning his other three NBA titles, retired briefly and when he returned wore jersey number 45 for coincidentally 23 games. And it is why Michael Jordan, in his last game as a Chicago Bull, another city God uses to point to the Antichrist, who is also from Chicago, scored 45 points against the team from the 45th state. Like Michael Jordan, LeBron James also played in Cleveland, then famously left Cleveland in much controversy, and then returned again to play a second time in Cleveland, in order to win the championship for Cleveland and break the Cleveland sports curse, which symbolizes the Antichrist curse of Barack Obama when he will return to the White House for his second presidency, which is predicted to be on December 18th, 2022. When LeBron James returned for his second time to Cleveland, it took him two years to win the NBA championship, just like when Barack Obama will return to the White House, he will be president for the two years leading up to the second coming of Lord Jesus Christ in 2024. God pairs the numbers 9 and 23 together in order to confirm the signs and connections and to reveal the identity of the Antichrist, the basketball president that wore jersey number 23 when he played basketball in high school, and became president in 2009. From the Bible, the numbers 9 and 23 both symbolize judgment, and the number 23 is the ninth prime number. The only grandfather-grandson presidents were the ninth and 23rd presidents, William and Benjamin Harrison. The ninth president, William Harrison, died on the calendar date April 4th, 4-4, which hints at the 44th president. Harrison died exactly one month after his inauguration. The name Harrison hints at Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash due to a bird strike on November 3rd. And the Antichrist Barack Obama will rise to power and become president again through her replacement. Michelle Obama will first replace Kamala Harris and then Barack will replace Michelle. Michelle is the feminine version of Michael, which is the reason for the name Michael in the name Michael Jordan. In the Bible, the Hebrews crossed the Jordan River into the Promised Land. Barack Obama's famous autobiography is named A Promised Land. Obama the Antichrist will promise the world a new world order utopia. A goat is Antichrist symbolism. The greatest of all time, the goat of basketball, Michael Jordan, wore jersey number 23 and jersey number 9 when he played for the U.S. Olympic Dream Team, a team that beat their opponents by an average of 44 points per game which hints at the 44th president, Goat Antichrist, that wore jersey number 23 and became president in 2009. If you have not already watched the Michael Jordan Prophecy video on this channel, the Michael Jordan Prophecy video is an essential video for foundational understanding of how God's true big picture of signs, patterns, and connections works. And so, as was just explained, God pairs the numbers 9 and 23 together to confirm the signs and connections and to point to the Antichrist, Barack Obama. This 2.3 trillion that she promoted in High Point symbolizes the number 23. 
And again, it confirms this 23 days connection. But also, the day she was in High Point, uh, promoting 2.3 trillion, was exactly nine years, which pairs with the 23 here, to the day that President or Vice President Joe Biden had to make an emergency landing in his Air Force Two plane in California, while he was in California, the state that Harris represented as senator, due to a bird strike. His plane struck a bird, or there was a bird strike, and he had to make an emergency landing. And this was exactly nine years before Kamala Harris was visiting an electric bus company in High Point, uh, promoting the $2.3 trillion. And so this is amazing because this in turn connects to the day that Kamala Harris will die in her plane crash due to a bird strike. And the day she will die in a bird strike, which will symbolize Satan falling like lightning from heaven, will be three times 90 days after she promoted 2.3 trillion. The number 90 symbolizes the number nine as 2.3 symbolizes 23. And so this is another pairing of nine and 23 that confirms the signs and connections. And also what confirms this is that this is exactly 90 days before another a prophetic plane crash on the 9th of Av, uh, July 18th, 2021. And so that is another pairing of 9 and 23 as well. And that 90 days confirms the three sets of 90 days to the day that Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash due to a bird strike, which brings us full circle to from the beginning of this diagram, which symbolized Satan falling like lightning from heaven, the Apollo chariot, Fabio's face being hit with a bird. An additional second witness trail of signs to this trail of signs is right here from the day of Obama's book release, which is again confirmed by Harris's book. It is 336 days to this sign here, this prophetic plane crash in Harris County. But 336 is the number that symbolizes death because the 336th word in Strong's Greek New Testament concordance is the word death. And also this symbolizes the end times because four times seven times 12 equals 336. And these are these three numbers that um, are repeated often in the book of Revelation. So this number in itself symbolizes the end times, but it also symbolizes death. And that's why it connects to this plane crash in Harris County, Texas. It took Harris County hazmat over an hour to put out the fire of this plane. It incinerated the plane. And this plane um, was in the fourth biggest city in the U.S. and it was on its way to game number four of the Houston Astros Boston Red Sox playoffs. Uh, and that's confirming this connection to Obama, the 44th president. But also this date was looked at in advance uh, because it was the 34th anniversary of the stock market crash on Black Monday in 1987. And this plane was in McDonnell Douglas MD-87 model plane. And it was owned by a company named 987 Investments LLC, which is all confirmation of this 87 days connection to the day that Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash, hence the 336, death, Harris County. Okay, you can, I think I explained that. Once this prediction has come to pass, you should know that you need to watch every minute of every video on this channel and read the homepage of the website, trumpprediction.com or harriscrashprediction.com. Time is running out, and if for some reason you don't have enough time to watch all of the videos on this channel, I will leave a list of the most important videos in the description box below this video or on the homepage of the website. In terms of God's prophetic signs and knowing what God is doing after having watched this video, you are now one of the most informed people on the planet. The question is, what will you now do with this information? And how many people will you help get this video to? Keep on posting the link to this video everywhere in social media. And if you would like the PDF file for the flyer I hand out on busy street corners, place on car wind shields in busy parking lots, and put in mailboxes, please contact me at darrenjacksinbox at gmail.com. 
in my opinion, every single believer, unless they have a health condition, should be doing something like this in the streets every day. Also, everyone should have some of these flyers in their pockets, handing them out as they go about their daily business. When they walk from their car into the bank or to the grocery store, as they walk up and down the aisles of the grocery store, hand them out to people. I personally don't know what someone is thinking if they are not doing this. And if someone thinks that they are too shy to do this, what I have to say is get over it. Courage isn't a lack of fear. It is action in spite of it. And God wants us to be courageous for him. Keep in mind Jesus' parable of the ten bags of gold. The bags of gold represent our abilities and opportunities, and the servants represent Christians. The knowledge in this video and the knowledge of the Lord's timing is a bag of gold. The Christian that did nothing with his bag of gold was banished to hell. The reformed Lutheran Calvinist once saved always saved theology that says that a Christian doesn't have to do anything is false and is deception from Satan. And believe me, the reason why God has given me a voice through these predictions is to prove what I have just said. Make sure you watch the 23 church signs video on this channel. Also keep in mind Ezekiel chapter 33. But if the watchman sees the sword coming and does not blow the trumpet so that the people are not warned, the sword comes and takes any one of them, that person is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood I will require at the watchman's hand. If you choose to not do anything about the information you have learned in this video, in other words, tell and warn others about it, it would have been better for you to not have learned this in the first place. Aliens and UFOs are demons masquerading as aliens and UFOs. The Pope is the first of the two Antichrists. Catholicism isn't the Bible and isn't Christianity. There will likely be a massive Mary ghost that the whole world will see, but it will be demonic deception. Praying to Mary is praying to demons. Most people's spiritual experiences are demonic deception, especially if they are not a true follower of Christ. All of the supernatural experiences that Catholics experience that confirm for them that Catholicism is true are demonic deception. The same applies to all other false religions and New Age spirituality. In 2 Thessalonians, it says we get the deception we ask for. In other words, it is foolish to rely on spiritual or mystical experiences. And those that do are asking for demonic deception. The supernatural highs from yoga and meditation are demonic deception. They are the counterfeit Holy Spirit. There is absolutely no New Age or collective consciousness type of explanation for how these predictions were known ahead of time. They were known ahead of time through Bible prophecy and watching for God's prophetic signs. Jesus was not just another supposed enlightened master like the supposedly enlightened Buddha. Jesus was God incarnate, and he is the only way to eternal life and to God the Father. The New Age religion and new spirituality is, in truth, worship of the self. It is transgression of the first commandment, and it is the height of false idolatrous, false god worship. You, we, are not God. We are not part of God. God is holy, which is a Hebrew word that means separate from. The big deception in the end times will be New Age spirituality, and this satanic deception will merge with Catholicism. The purpose for these predictions, the reason why God has given me a voice through these predictions, is to prove the things that I am saying. The New Age religion is deception from Satan designed to keep someone in their pride and for repenting for their sins and for admitting that they need to be forgiven and that they need a savior, Lord Jesus Christ. New Age religion is essentially atheistic spirituality, and New Age spirituality and New Agers are essentially narcissistic, immature children that are rebelling against a disciplinary father. Contrary to what New Agers and Muslims say, the Bible has not been tainted or changed. This is a lie from Satan. There is no evidence for this. 
and in fact the evidence is overwhelmingly to the contrary. There is a spiritual reality behind the material world that we see. The wages for sin is death. Sin means to miss the mark. No one is good, all have sinned. Because of sin, people are captives of the ruler of this world, Satan. People's souls belong to Satan, whose power over people is death. God took the form of a man, Jesus Christ, and paid the ransom that is owed to the ruler of this world. Through Christ's death and resurrection, he defeated sin and he overcame Satan's power in death. It is through Christ and his spirit that it is possible for everyone to be forgiven of their sin and we can have eternal life if we choose it. We can choose to follow Jesus out of captivity from sin and Satan. Or we can choose to reject this and remain a slave to this world, sin, and to Satan. If one rejects Jesus Christ, after they die, they will pay the price for their sin in hell, and then they will die the second death and their soul will cease to exist. Believing in Christ means much more than simple intellectual agreement. It means to repent of sin and completely commit one's life and become a willing slave to Jesus and his kingdom. Jesus said we need to be born again, which implies a death of the self and a death to this world. Believing in Jesus implies living out one's faith through taking action that typically involves risk and sacrifice. This demonstration of faith through action is what it means to have faith and to believe in Jesus. Some Christians will tell you otherwise, but they are deceived and they ignore countless passages in the Bible. Obviously, when these predictions come to pass, you will know that you should watch all of the videos on this channel, beginning with the videos that are linked to in the description box below this video. I strongly recommend not going through the videos on this channel in random fashion, selecting titles that may be interesting, but rather I strongly recommend following my recommendations that are listed in the description box below this video. This channel is not a daily or weekly update on the latest news. Rather, this channel is a library that has documented God's true big picture of signs, patterns, and connections. Hopefully you at least found this introduction video to be interesting, and if so, please leave a like and upvote the video, and please consider sharing the video. It is essential that everyone immediately read the homepage of my website, trumpprediction.com, or predictionsproveit.com, and also check out the other information that I have linked to on the website. You should also pause this video right now and make a note of my other social media outlets. You never know when you will need them and you might not be able to find them later. Also, if you want to download these videos as podcasts, I now have a podcast channel at Podbean, which is named Predictions Prove It.